Hey everyone, in today's Aircraft Explained video, we will be covering another Airbus A350 topic that gets brought up on the internet often. Today we will be covering all the different probes and sensors installed on the nose of the A350 and what they do. So just a real quick overview before we break it down in depth and take close up looks. Starting on the captain's side, we have an ice detector, an angle of attack vane, a multifunction probe, and a standby pitot tube. Moving to the top of the nose, we have three side slip angle vanes, and on the first officer side, we have two more multifunction probes as well as another ice detector. The three side slip angle probes, or SSAs, are installed on the upper nose of the aircraft if they are installed at all. Some aircraft are being delivered without them, and some airlines are removing them completely. This probe was originally designed and installed on the Airbus A380 aircraft. The vane of the probe will weather vane in the oncoming airstream, reporting its relation to the aircraft centerline. This information will tell the respective Air Data Inertial Reference Unit, or ADARU for short, if the aircraft is flying straight through the air or if it's in a side slip or crabbing position. The two ice detectors located on either side of the nose work off the same principle as most aircraft ice detectors. Ice will form on the metal tip of the probe. As this happens, the tip will start to vibrate due to the ice buildup and send a message to the cockpit telling the crew it is in icing conditions. After the message is sent, the probe will automatically turn on its built-in heater, melting the ice off the tip and resetting the system to detect ice buildup again. One PCFS angle of attack probe, or AOA for short, is installed on the left side of the nose. Unlike the AOAs on the MFPs that we will cover, this is a standalone probe. This AOA probe is the same operation-wise as any other aircraft. The AOA probe works off the weather vane principle as well. As the nose of the aircraft raises or lowers as the aircraft climbs or descends, the vane is held at a constant level position by the airstream. The angle between the vane and the probe, known as the angle of attack, is measured and reported to the number one ADARU and to the PRIM in the Primary Flight Control System, or PFCS. This data is used to compute the flight control laws and reduce wing loads during maneuvers or wind gusts as part of the load alleviation function. The three multifunction probes, or MFPs, one located on the left and two located on the right, are an all-in-one smart probe that takes multiple older style probes and puts them into one with its own built-in computer. This new style probe incorporates the AOA, the Total Air Temp, or TAT for short, and the PITO probe. The AOA portion of the probe works the same as the standalone PFCS AOA probe, however, its data is sent to the respective ADARU where the data is used for angle of attack protection and to keep the aircraft from entering a stall during normal flight control law. The next portion of the MFP is the TAT probe, which measures the air temp and sends it to the respective ADARU. This data is used in the calculation of the true airspeed. The temp is also displayed on the permanent data zone of the Upper Electric Centralized Aircraft Monitoring, or ECAM display. The last portion of the MFP is the PITO probe. Each PITO probe measures the airflow into the tube and sends the data to its respective adder. The data is then combined with data from the six static ports, three located on each side of the forward fuselage, which forms three pairs, to calculate the aircraft's airspeed and display it on the captain and first officer's primary flight display, or PFD, located on the inner display units in the cockpit. The last component to talk about is a single standalone pitot tube on the left side of the aircraft. This standby pitot probe is used in conjunction with the standby static ports located on either side of the aircraft under the cockpit windows to provide airspeed indications to the Integrated Standby Instrument System, or ISI. Unlike the pitot probes of the MFPs and the main static ports that have built-in computers and send data, the standby pitot and static probes are connected to the ISI using pneumatic lines and all the computation is left to the ISI itself. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video educational and helped answer any questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, if you have a topic that you would like to see covered in a video, feel free to comment below. You can also check out the rest of the Aircraft Explained series in its playlist.